there's not only like disparities in like knowledge, there's disparities in care. And for me, it's like, not only when you empower people and like where to get information from, how to, how to advocate for yourself. The same way my mama was like, you gonna sit here and the doctor's gonna see you. And I'm like, are you sure? And the doctor saw me, it's like, yeah, they may not like it, but this is your health we're talking about. Let's talk about the documentary series, Uncovering TMBC. Well, this is different than, you know, the work that you've been doing. Why was this project um, important for you to be a part of? Um, well, like I said earlier, you know, I'm, I'm nobody's doctor. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not mine. I'm nobody's doctor. But when I, when I encounter things that are meaningful for me, you know, I, and that I can lend my voice or lend my platform to, that's important to me. You know, I do have a master's in public health. And so that the, the message I got while trying to avoid going to med school, you see how I'm not doing <laughs> I'm like, I'm not going to go to med school, I'm going to get another degree. Um, <laughs> and so I got the master's and, you know, while working in public health, which I did for like two years before deciding to go into entertainment full time, I realized like, yo, there's not only like disparities in like knowledge, there's disparities in care. And for me, it's like, not only when you empower people and like where to get information from, how to, how to advocate for yourself. The same way my mama was like, you gonna sit here and the doctor's gonna see you. And I'm like, are you sure? And the doctor saw me, it's like, yeah, yep. they may not like it, but this is your health we're talking about. And yep. you know, when you talk about triple negative breast cancer, like black women are affected at an extremely higher rate than, you know, their counterparts. And so for me, it's just like, yeah, we're not playing with our health. You know, even on Insecure, we had that whole arc where um, Tiffany, you know, talked about the, the care that she didn't receive while she was in birth. And she was just like, and we had that whole run on like how black women almost die at childbirth. Serena, um, Serena, it almost happened to Serena. And so just like, yeah, well, not on our watch. Like if there's education that we can use to inform people on like what their rights are or how they can you know talk to their doctor especially like when you're experiencing something like triple negative breast cancer which is like super deadly yeah. um and and affects black women especially at a higher rate yeah we don't have time to play games i'm like well okay well the doctor shoot me out after 10 minutes but i still have questions it's like well no Here's, you know, here's a doctor guide that you can use um, that, you know, that Merck created that you can use to talk to your doctor and be like, hey, let's, we have all these points because I don't know what's going on in my body and I, I want to live a long life. And so for me, it is important to be like, hey, there's information. You're already dealing with this thing that's like mentally affecting you, physically affecting you. Now let's, and the worst part is to feel powerless. I don't know if, if you've ever lived and had that feeling of like, I don't know what to do. I feel like no one's listening. That is the worst. That is it's literally just to feel like your back is up against the wall and there's nothing you can do. I don't like that. I don't like that in any situation. And so especially when it comes to health and black women's health, it's like, no, 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 no. This is a thing. This is a thing that I didn't even know existed. You hear about breast cancer all the time. You hear, you know, it's breast cancer. You see the, you see the pink ribbons and you're just like, okay, yes. I didn't know that there was a different strand. It's like a Delta variant. It's like, what? There's a, <laughs> a first version of, of, of COVID. This is some trash. We're still trying to deal with the regular version. That <laughs> added a variant. So it's like, there is an, another variant of breast cancer that affects black people like worse. Ah, oh, heck nah. So that's, that's why it was important for me to even educate myself on this thing that I didn't know about. So I'm like, well, if it affects other people and I didn't know about, well, let me get educated. And while I'm getting educated, let's educate the masses as well. Right. And it's, it's unfortunate that, you know, Black women, we have to advocate for ourselves more. Um, but that's the reality. Can we expect to see like real life examples of women advocating for themselves in the documentary? Oh, absolutely. Oh my gosh. You, you meet Ama these three amazing women um, who all are on the other side of their um, triple negative breast cancer diagnosis. And, you know, they talk about creating community, you know, for some people they were like, oh, we did not have access or we did not have the information and we kind of didn't feel like we had the support of our medical team. And so they created, in, you know, communities for themselves and other patients to talk about it. Other people uh, join clinical trials, other people. And so it was just kind of like, just to see their stories and to hear in the midst of them getting their healing 
how they were able to not only advocate for themselves but advocate for other patients and i'm just like i you know you you want to say like if it were me i if it were me i would just be like please lord don't let me die like please lord like let me get out of this and while they're again focusing on receiving the best care for themselves they're like Yo, okay how can we change this thing that we didn't like that happened to us for the next person coming behind us and that's that is so beyond commendable but that's like what Powerful. black black and black brown women have always done it's like you get us in the door we're opening we're holding it open for the next people people that come behind us so their stories are magnificent and i can't wait for you to see the documentary yeah. at uncoveredcnbc.com it's it's I was I, I was interviewing them and I know they were looking at me like oh, you're the star. I'm like, no, you're the star boo. Like I'm 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 in awe of you and your amazingness. 